Hi guys, welcome, welcome for those that are managing to join. I hope everyone's doing fabulous. We're back again with a, another live and today we're going to be having a nice play with the inks. Um, I'm going to be using the green, oh I've just picked up another one actually, sorry. We have got the teal and the green inks. And we also have the white ink, the blend it. And I'm going to be having a play as well with the silver magnetic jet, uh, pigment, which I'm excited about. So I'm going to be demonstrating that. And we're going to create, I've got this idea of like a gorgeous, what, what's the word? Kind of like a green marbled like jade stone, I think it is. I want to do that. Hi, Anna. How are you doing? And yeah, so I want to do that. And I want to use the magnetic pigment and do something a little bit fancy. You know what I'm saying? A bit fancy. We've got the emerald crystals. Um, so that's going to be fun. I didn't get a crystal picker up, though, did I? I didn't get... Oh, I've got one. I've got one. <laughs> that was lucky. Um, right, okay. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. So I'm going to use... Hi, Kim. I'm going to use one of the new gels. This one is, is this the right one? Yeah, I'm going to use moss. So this is from the, this is from the Mother Earth gel collection. It's gorgeous. So we're going to be going nice. It's like a gorgeous shade of like sage mossy green. I'm going to be pairing that with some inks and doing a really hopefully cute design you know this is kind of a bit experimental i haven't planned anything i've put a little bit of doodling down a little bit of doodles down on the on my little paper but as far as it goes we're we're, we're stabbing in the dark you know what i'm saying <laughs> i think i'm actually going to start with um the magnetic pigments so i'm going to do a base of moss for that i think i'm going to do a base of moss yeah you can do it over black. It does look nice over black, but I want to keep everything quite light. So we're going to come in. I hope everyone's doing well. Welcome to the live. Glad to be back again for another beautiful day. Oh, yeah, that's amazing, Anna. I'm so glad you got your order. And it's your first one. That's exciting. I hope you enjoy using everything. I've put you in a right funny position again. I'm going to move you to the side because I'm like cranking my neck to look round the phone. I know I can look through the phone, but it's just not for me that. It's just not for me. I like to see what I'm doing. Let's let's just... There, that's a bit better for my... For me, for the ergonomics. You know what I'm saying? Right, so we're going to go ahead. We've got a gorgeous magnetic on that. I'm going to do that on the pinky finger as well. And then we're going to mix in some of the magnetic pigment, which is brand new on the website. I love it. It's absolutely stunning. I did a tester at home as well. Um, just I was so excited to get it. And I did it with the pink ink over the top and it looks so cool. I did it over a black base though. So this is a bit of a, a bit of an experiment of the moss green gel. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that as well. And then we're going to get our pigment at the ready. So... You've got your little pigment, it comes with your little, I don't even know where it is, oh yeah, here we go. It comes with your little applicator if you wanted to apply it with a sponge. But for this design, and um, because it's a magnetic pigment, you want it to be moving around. We're going to use the palette, don't mind, it's just a bit, you know, streaked from the alcohol. The safe scrub wipe. Hi, welcome everybody. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up as well, guys. Give it a like, keep me coming back for more, you know what I'm saying? The more likes, no, I'm joking, <laughs> I'll be here anyway. Um, okay, right, so we're going to get our base coat and I'm going to use, I'm going to just use the regular, regular base coat, the regular gel base. I'm just going to go ahead and pop a bit onto there and then we're going to come in and, oh, I'm going to use a bit of a bigger brush. My sleeves keep coming down. Does anybody else get annoyed when the sleeves keep coming down and getting in the way? Honestly, I can't deal with it. It frustrates me so much. 
I've got a shirt on and it's kind of tight so it doesn't go all the way up past <laughs> past my arms. It's well annoying. Right, I'm going to use the oval number two from the five-piece brush set. Um, absolutely fabulous, fabulous brush set. I love it. So it comes with all of the brushes. This is brand new. I've just opened it, so I'm just going to prep it, get it ready, flick out the hairs, just move them about a bit, and then just into some safe scrub, which is just going to loosen the bristles up, and then we are good to go. Wipe it off on the paper towel because we're going to be coming in, and I'm mixing a little bit of my the magnetic pigment into the base. How's the lighting, guys? Is the lighting... It looks really dull on my phone. I don't know if it's because I've got the brightness down. Let me know if it's bright enough. I'm sure it probably is. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up a little bit of pigment. Oh, gosh, that was a lot. Y you want enough, obviously, so that it's going to be enough to mix in. And I'm just mixing this into the base. That was probably too much pigment, but I'm doing two nails. I can probably get a full set out of that. Like, let's be honest. Why have I just done that much? <laughs> Why? I'm coming in, mixing it, mixing, mixing. I'm definitely going to add a bit more base. Where's my base coat? I've put a bit too much pigment. Literally, a little goes a long way. Just add a bit more base coat into it. And this can go over any colour, literally any colour, and make it magnetic. It's absolutely amazing. I bloody love it. I'm hoping that this ratio is going to be fine. I did so much. Can you see how much I've put so much of that pigment in there, guys? You don't need that much. You literally just don't. And I've also got the new... Where have I put everything? Back there. Got the new magnet. So we've got the little magic magnet. It's got the two sides and it's a really thick one as well. So it's going to move the product around really, really good. I'm excited to see this set. I've got a really beautiful vision of it in my head <laughs> so hopefully it turns out good so it's the rectangular magnet it's quite a thick one and then we've got the little um circular one on the end oh i just put that right next to the blooming jar of magnetic powder and oh my gosh you guys it nearly all <laughs> sucked to it like <laughs> that would have been that would have been a disaster wouldn't it ah, ah magneting the palette magneticing the palette up right okay We've got the moss. We've got our beautiful silver magnetic pigment, which is released on the website. I might have... Oh, we should be all right. We should be fine. We'll test it. So I'm going to try it out with the ratio that I've kind of mixed. And I don't know, I might have to add a bit more... What's What do you call it? A bit more base to it. I might have to add a bit more base. We'll see how it moves around when I bring the magnet to it but I can add base on the nail. It shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be a problem. I love experimenting with designs and looks and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna come in with the magnet. I'm gonna hope for the best. I've never been great at these. Oh, obviously as well, I've got the magnetic that does affect it as well. You know, the magnetic, <laughs> this. So that will affect the design slightly. Yeah. I do love these, honestly, I love it. It's like magic. And it, look at it, absolute magic. I could watch it all day. Honestly, I could watch it all day, that. Right, so what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to have a little play. Get it to where I want it. I'm not in, in, in a, you know, it doesn't need to be... Anywhere specific. Let's try this one. Woo! 
fan she. That was pretty cool. All right, so I mine. Honestly, I could do this all day. I remember when I first got it, I was like sitting there all day, like, oh, how should we have this? That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. We're coming in with the inks over the top of this as well, so. That's fancy. We're going to go with that. I'm going to cure that in the light and then I'm going to do the same thing basically again. Obviously, if you if you add less of the pigment into the base, it's going to be a sheer, a, sheer, a sheer coat, which just depends on the look that you are going for. So I'm just going to paint that on. Do the same again. Similar. Probably somebody who's like a, pro, a pro at this magnetic design is probably screaming, move it over there. <laughs> Look at that, it's so cool. We'll go with that since I'm just literally doing like an abstract marbled jade set so that's what like i said the idea that i'm going for so we're going to move on to the next nails and there's going to be lots of layers in this set as well we're going to build it up you guys know i love and live for adding layers to designs so that is what we are going to be doing so we're going to go ahead and apply our moss gel to the other nails because we're going to come in with our marble ink design along with like the gels we'll be using as well to build up like a just a marbled stone effect so we're just going to do one cut look at the coverage please 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 wow this color is absolutely stunning as well absolutely stunning it is look at that that looks beautiful so I'm going to come in and I'm going to try over the top of that um, marble nail. We're going to add the green ink and see how that looks. I have it, a vision in my head that it's going to look really cute and match the set that I'm, or like the idea that I have, but we'll see. Could be terrible. I'll try it on a little bit. Mm, yes, that is what we are going for, you guys. Damn, we are layering this up. Living, living for it. I am, that looks absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna do the same again over this set, well this nail. Just quick strokes you wanna do with the ink cause you don't want it to kind of, what's the word? Get any streaks in. Also the pigment that I've used is the silver magnetic pigment is absolutely fabulous. Like I say, it can go over any color. Obviously, if you put it over black, it gives you a real popping base, but I want to keep this a bit more earthy toned for this set. I do have some black coming in though, so I could have done black now that I think about it. <laughs> Right, I'm going to come in with the inks on this nail and I'm going to go straight over the tacky layer because I find sometimes it kind of is a trial and error with these inks. Sometimes they look beautiful over the tacky layer. It kind of depends what look you're going for. They look more intense over a tacky layer because it grips onto the ink. Um, so we'll try and see how that's going to work out. Let me get the blender open so I can start moving that product around. So the blender is just the solution for the inks that um, it really just helps move that product around and allows it to flow. But sometimes, so say if, 
like I say, I'm going to work into this tacky layer. It might just not move it enough because the tacky layer is going to grip a hold of it, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to pop that on. Let's try the blend it. Sometimes, oh yeah, it has. It's moved it slightly. You can see there it's like blown it out. So I'm going to work this up in layers. I've also brought in the teal ink because I thought that would add a little bit of dimension to the colour. So I'll open that one. I don't know if it's going to be a bit too, too tealy. Hmm. No, we won't go with teal. I think it's going to be a bit too, too blue. It's more of a blue. So I think I'm going to build this up in layers and I'm going to use some black gel. I could have got the black ink. I didn't get it, but we'll work with what we have. So I'm just going to layer that up to get a bit more depth. And then I'm going to also move back to this gorgeous nail where I put my palette up here. And I'm going to pop some black gel polish. I'm just going to use Midnight's Super Pigmented. I'm going to pop it onto the tray. And I'm just going to use out of the five piece brush set, I'm going to use liner one with the Midnight Black Gel Polish. It's a fabulous liner. I used it yesterday, it's just, it hasn't split. That's just how it looks because I've, um, you know, cleansed it. Once we get that gel in the brush, it's gonna hold those bristles. So you wanna pop it in, load your brush up, you're twizzling it around to get that product on. And we're gonna go ahead and just paint a little abstract number on here. So these would look cute for Halloween, I suppose, if you didn't want something. I did say fall in the in my title because I, I expected it might envision like I had more of an earthy vibe, but this green is I suppose it looks like grass, but I, I expected it. Or I envisioned more of an earthy green. Not that it matters. It's still looking cute. Okay, so we're just painting on a really simple abstract number. Nothing too crazy. What time is it where you guys are right now? Like here it is half past one. I always wonder that, like what time it is where everybody else is watching from. I think we'll go there. And then we'll bring that up and around. Well, we kind of need to bring it a bit more. Oh, same time. Amazing. And yesterday we had somebody on, it was like 8.30, oh no, 10 to 9 I think it was in the morning. It's like, well, so cool. So I'm just filling in the area that I've kind of blocked out for this little abstract art over the top of our magnetic. And then I've got some little crystals. Like I said, I really wanted to layer up this set. Good morning, 5.30 in California. Ooh. 
Amazing. 5.30 a.m. Wow. That is early. I was up at that time. Not today. Yesterday, Lottie woke up super... Well, she didn't wake up. She woke up at 3 and didn't go back to sleep till 5. I was like, might as well get up for the day. <laughs> I'm just filling in. Look at that, that is cured. I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit more because I went out the lines a bit and I don't want it to have a bit of a mark there. There, that looks cute. So I'm gonna cure that and then we are gonna come in with some gorgeous embellishments on that nail. You're all wondering what I'm going to be doing with this nail, aren't you? So am I. <laughs> Honestly, so am I. So, I should have got the black ink, but I didn't get it. So I'm going to start. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a base coat to protect the ink that we've already got down. Just a nice, quick, thin layer of base. And then I'm going to cure that in the lights. Whilst that's curing, I'm going to come in and paint our little same design, basically, on the pinky. Just in a different, different area. Thank you. I'm loving the colours as well, but like I said, it's a little bit more Halloween-y, I feel like, than fall. I was, like, I was expecting a more... I don't know why in my head I was like emerald green, you know, like dark. But it's turned out a bit more not dark. It's still cute. And you could do this in any colour, couldn't you, really? Possibilities are endless. Also, this design, guys, is literally just random. You just want to mark out your little curves and just join them as such. So they come to the centre like that, like you get this area and then kind of join the line up and then flare it out and fill that bit in again. And you'll get this kind of, it looks like your nail's been wrapped up. Like it's getting a big squeeze. That looks cute. And it just adds a little bit of depth, bit of dimension, bit of something to it. It's about building up the layers and the, like, what's the word? The mysteriousness of the set. Of course, you can just have a plain colour as well. That also looks amazing. But let's add that art. So I'm going to just bring that around a bit there. Cute. <gasps> I smudged it then. Thought I smudged it. Right, I'm going to come back to. I hope I cured that. Yeah, I wasn't sure I cured it then. I didn't think I'd put the uh, the lamp on. So I'm going to pop a little bit of base coat onto my palette and add in a little bit of that midnight black. And I'm basically going to do some areas where I'm hoping to just deepen this up. Can you see? Just. Just like this, it's just going to add some depth to the marble. And guys, honestly, when you're doing like marbles and designs that are 
abstract basically and don't have a specific that they don't have to be exact so you're not doing a character in it, it oh it should look like that like marble can look like anything can't it it can be whatever you want it to be so have fun it's about creating te like textures in shadows and lighter areas and you know just having a real play around with it so as you can see i'm just building up not doing anything not doing anything wild kind of keeping them on the same angle just to build it up and then once we've done this layer we'll come in with a darker layer again just to add a bit more depth again so i'm actually going to make a little bit lighter now so i'm adding a bit more base coat in it didn't go too much lighter but it's just more of a shadowy wash and i'm just feathering that in there and i'm going to do a little bit at the tip just to darken that up and then i'm going to get the actual black gel just running on my brush and just pull that through as well and that's through the uncured gel that we've just applied we haven't cured that yet so it's just going to give me chance to kind of keep moving it around can you see it creates like these organic shapes and it just looks more effective probably going to have to change the title of this live aren't I <laughs> So once we've done this as well, we're going to come in with some detailed foil veins. Which again, for a marble nail, it just really sets it off. And if you're not happy with anything, you can just basically use your brush because we haven't cured it yet and wash it out wash it out it's just going to create more depth more texture more style so we'll pop that in looking good looking good wow time is flying it's already been half an hour how did that happen how did that happen girls boys i just don't know i just don't know so i've got these um what are they the gold link rings i want to use some of these in today's set as well do i have a little tray probably not do i have anything oh yes i do i do i do I have a little tray. It's got a bit of glitter in from a previous set, but that's fine. It's not going to bother me for this one. I'm just going to tip a couple of those out because I'm adding some gold elements to this set with the emerald, emerald 1440 piece crystals. I should have got one of the crystal trays, but I didn't. I'm going to go and grab that. Like I said in my live, if you managed to catch me yesterday, um, I'm just getting set up back here. Look at those gorgeous, gorgeous crystals. We're going to be adding a bit of the um, fluid gel I'm just going to use. comes with this like little nozzle perfect and I'm gonna basically between each gap where the gaps are I'm gonna add the oh interest I'm gonna add the um, crystals in there and it's going to add just an element of extraness. So we're just going to blob. 
I would have used the gem glue. The gem glue is a little bit more thicker. It holds things in place, but I, I literally couldn't find it. And I didn't want to shout anyone to help. <laughs> I know, ridiculous. I'm going to add three there. Three little crystals here. Um, then using the crystal bling stick. I've got these coming back in. I think we might have some. Oh, we might be out of stock, but I'm going to get them back in. But they're going to be purple crystals. So what I'm going to pick up first are the little rings. little jump rings that you can kind of oh does that one fit does it fit <clears throat> yeah I'm gonna keep it on the more the merrier and then I'm gonna use the crystals and just place those into the center of this design And down the side, we're just going to add three small crystals to add. In fact, I'm going to make it four. I don't know about that. I don't know about you, darling. You might be getting removed. That one's too big on the end. I am not putting that on. So I'm just going to pop that one. With two little ones either side. Gorgeous. Love it. I'm going to cure that in the light and then we're going to do the same again on this one. Add in, we'll probably do one ring there and then just some crystals on the others. Thank you very kindly. Honestly, I never know what I'm going to be doing. I just, I'm just, coming, I'm just coming up with this stuff. It either turns out beautiful or it doesn't. But if you don't experiment, how will you ever know? How will you ever know? So I'm just going to do the same. I've been quite enjoying these abstract nails you know with a bit of everything going on i'm not sure i'm feeling that you can tell when something just doesn't lay right it's it's not what i like it without that you know i do like it without the, with the without the gold ring as well so we could i might keep that one without i can always add it later on if i want to At least this way we've got the option. Oh yeah. I think without as well. I think it looks so much like... And now I'm contemplating on whether to add, because I was going to add the gold with the marble. And now I just don't know. And we've already done it on here and cured it in place. <laughs> We so naughty. Right, let's let's take a reevaluation. A reevaluation. Thank you. Uh, did I cure that one? I don't think I cured that, did I? No, I didn't. So I'm gonna go and cure that one. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come in with
some gold chrome because we've done it already and it was in my original plan i'm going to carry on with the marble plan the plan for the marble and we're going to go ahead and add the border so first off i'm going to add a coat of super gloss just to protect the marble underneath and then we can come in with our chrome designs. If we tried to just apply our super gloss over this, it would literally, our super gloss, I mean our chrome, it would just stick to every single part of the nail and we wanna make sure that it's isolated to a particular spot. So we're literally just applying that, we're gonna cure it and then we can come in with our chrome design. I'm going to go ahead and top coat these whilst we wait. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Imagine that like, in every colour on every nail. That is such a vibe. The magnetic powder is just beautiful. Beautiful. It is. It looks stunning underneath there. And you can have so much fun with it. Do you know, I was, like I say, was there for ages when we first got it. Just playing around, moving it. I didn't cure the nail for ages. I was like, ooh, ah, ooh. It was so funny. So I'm just going top coat. What the heck? A little bug just landed on me. <sighs> Go away. Go away. You cannot be in my life. I'm just going to get a little top coat on, on the palette and just go around the edges to seal everything in. Of course, because we've used either the gem glue or the fluid gel to add the crystals on, they're already going to be kind of encased into position because it hooks right around them. It's so fab. So I'm just gonna let that level out for a moment. Oh, Lisa, thank you so much. I'm loving it as well. I think it looks amazing, like loving it. I'm gonna continue with these, although optional step to add the rings i think hopefully once we get the rest of you know the gold on i'm hoping my idea ties together and it looks it looks fab but we'll see I'm just top coating these. Did everybody catch as well my video that I uploaded yesterday of the gold acrylic, the gold and black acrylic nails? Just wondering, like whilst everyone's on, it'd be interesting to see who managed to watch it or who saw the notification pop up. Um, yeah, let me know. Let me know if you've managed to see it or not. Or if you're going to be seeing it, if you're going to take some time to watch it. Just making sure that everything's nice and level. Cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. Right, we're going to move on to our... Back to the marble design. Back to this marble nail. I'm taking it off the little stand because I'm going to just come in with a buffer. I'm just going to use the white buffing block. I'm not going to do it over the desk, but I'm just going to buff. Oh, thank you, Anna. I'm so glad you managed to watch it. And I'm so glad you loved it as well. So basically, just as you can see the difference, 
I'm just buffing off the shine from the surface. You can use a sponge buffer. That would be more suited because it's less abrasive. Um, like the 240 ones. This is a 180 buffer. And we're not filing off or buffing off the design. We're just removing the shine from the top coat so that when we come and apply our chrome, we don't get any product sticking to that area because we only want we only want it on certain a certain part of the nail, and this way we're going to isolate it. Tortoise. Oh, Tanya, thank you. The tortoise foils are fabulous. I loved loved creating them. I still haven't finished off. I've got look. I've got them here. I say I haven't finished off. I've got um yeah. I want to finish off so I can take a nice picture. Of them, they are fabulous. They turned out super, super cute. Um, wow, I've left my, I've left my um, black gel paint. I suppose I can do it with super gloss. So the black gel paint is what I would normally use for my chromes. However, I haven't picked any up. I've left it in the back. So I'm gonna just use the the super gloss. So you can use any no wipe gel that you have, and that's gonna work the best to create to create your chrome designs, darlings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off my brush because I wanna use the um, liner number two from the five piece brush set. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of safe scrub and I'm gonna go ahead and basically cleanse it off just with a lint-free wipe, just the colour that I've already used. Cleaning that up. And then we can go ahead and add our little design for the chrome. So the reason why I wouldn't normally use super gloss to do the chrome designs is simply because it's more of a runny gel. So it won't stay as what's the word, defined, so it'll spread slightly. Whereas if you're gonna use the black gel paint, once you've put it in position, that's it. It doesn't move, it's a bit more thicker, it doesn't run. So I would more, I would recommend that more. But if you haven't got it and you've only got the super gloss, it doesn't do a bad job, like it does a fabulous job still. It's just if you're trying to do like a really super, super detailed, um, work like you're doing a character and you've got a specific part that you want to do it might just not be the absolute best so i'm coming around can you see i'm just doing like a wavy border good morning jamie welcome 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 thank you so much that is so kind honestly i love making content for you guys i literally get so excited it's like my happy place i love it absolutely love it i can sit in my well i do i can't i'm saying i can sit in my room every night and and do nails till god knows what time well let me tell you i do do that like i'm up till 2 a.m like crafting crafting little details you know what i'm saying okay so i'm just coming in with this wiggly border and i'm happy with that i think that looks cute but I'm also going to go ahead and just add a few little spider veins. And as you can see, I'm ever so slightly, slightly just touching the nail. We're not going crazy. We want them nice and fine. Delicate little details. I want barely even touching on these ones. Light pressure is going to give us really delicate lines I think that'll be enough so I've got my gel on you can kind of see it there I'm going to do a full cure for that for 60 seconds and then I'm going to come in with the Glitter Planet Gold Chrome and all these products guys as well don't know if I mentioned are available on my website glitterplanetuk.com I've linked everything as well and it'll be all in the, the the description box as well. Don't mind this chrome. Bit messy. Got it a bit messy, haven't I? 
and I haven't cleaned off my little silicone tool because I saw it that I used yesterday. I did this swatch of the Northern Lights. Oh, look at it. Stunning. That's the Northern Lights pigment. It's so gorgeous. So I'm just going to wipe it off. We will have the silicone tools back in stock as well very soon. I'm just waiting on them arriving. And then I'm going to restock them for you guys because they are honestly the best to apply chrome pigments. They are double-sided as well, so you get like two different sides on each tool and it comes in a packet of five, so it's really fabulous. Uh, let me take that off my little back backdrop. Well, I just literally got that everywhere. Look, everywhere. Never mind, I'm going to be sparkling for days. Right, let's take those out because we've finished with them. We've top coated these. I like that. It looks cute. It looks abstract. I do like it without the gold. So I suppose the gold can be an optional, optional step. I suppose. Do you know what I might do on that one, which would look really good, just like a textured. Do you know where you sugar your acrylic on and it just gives you this textured effect? Look at this as well. Just. Oh, I can't get it. I can't get it. I created this set a while, but it's been, it's been here for ages. Stunning. This set is on my channel already. It's gorgeous. I just saw it. I thought I'd share it with you guys. <laughs> Out of the blue. Right, so we're going to be chroming up this one. We're going to dip in to our chrome. Can you see? Tiny, tiny bit. I'm just gonna, oof, damn, start rubbing in. Can you see how it just grabs and it looks absolutely gorgeous? So another reason why I would use black is because it just makes everything, like it makes your chromes pop more as well. Like, it's still gonna pop, still gonna look fancy. I always get too much. but the black does deepen them and it makes them stand out just a bit, just a bit more. So we're just rubbing that into all the areas where we've added that top coat. And what it's gonna do, it's just gonna grip a hold of our pigment. Those little veins that we painted on, again, is gonna add some more dimension to the nail. So somebody did request using the inks. So I've just done a specific design here with the inks, you know, creating the marble, specifically the green ink. But I will do a live as well where I come on and, you know, I'll showcase all of the inks. So I'm just going to dust off the excess of that. So literally I get the mini dust brush and I, I hold it like this so it kind of stiffens the bristles. And then I just back and forth and it basically gets rid of the excess or most of the excess chrome. It's really, really fabulous because it's super soft. And it just does a really good job. Oh, that noise is really annoying. I'm sorry if it's annoying anybody. It's like, a, I think it's one of the lights buzzing. I bet nobody even knew until I said, or maybe you did, I don't know. That looks cute. Cutie cured. Gonna add some super gloss just to seal that in. Make sure to take off the excess because you don't want like a super bulky bulky nail okay let me look at that how cute is that get off i'm sick of fluffy bits so annoying oh get it in a minute i'm gonna cure that in the light cure that in the light whilst i can i'm loving how that's turned out it looks so cute 
this nail I'm going to come in and do a full chrome and then we're going to sugar. I'm going to do a bit of sugar on. So I'm applying a coat of Midnight Black Gel. Just the one because that's all we need. It's just a base with the chrome powder. Cure it in the light. Can't wait to get a fresh, a lovely fresh cup of tea. That's what I right fancy right now. And guess what? Oh, I, did, I, did, I was going to do something with the matte top coat, but I'll save that for next time. Look at this. Aren't these gorgeous? I, I designed these boxes. Um, I actually have the little video where I designed them. I was heavily pregnant with pic uh, with Lottie and I was like, I need to get these finished before I give birth. I need to like close everything off and get it all finalised. And I worked my butt off and got them finished and I absolutely love how they've turned out. They're absolutely stunning. Um, so yeah, gorgeous. Right, that is how we are looking. So the thumb, right, I'm going to do the thumb as well and the thumb is basically going to not match the ring finger but it's gonna flow with it i'm not gonna do it in this video and um, this live sorry because there isn't any need for me to do two so we'll just do one i mean i did two of these didn't i <laughs> they are stunning though but yeah the thumb would basically if anyone was recreating this set would be the same i'm gonna come in with my super gloss which is gonna give us a gorgeous Gorgeous base for our chrome pigment. Just let it settle for a minute because you'll see sometimes you get little bits of glitter in, which I have definitely got in there, but we'll be fine. Let it settle a moment so that it kind of Le levels out and the brush strokes disappear you'll see that the line can you see where the light is it'll kind of just go straight whereas previously it'll be like a bit wobbly a bit you know wibbly wobbly if it's still super wibbly wobbly you need to wait a little bit let it settle a bit more and it's just going to be giving it a nice smooth surface for your chrome to go on that's kind of when you know it's smoothed out so that's looking beautiful oh Love that. Now I'm in two minds as to whether to do this kind of design or the tortoise nails on my right hand. Because like I said yesterday, I need to do them. And this just looks... I'm, I'm living for it. I think it looks gorgeous. But I think I would do it in purple with like the galaxy crystals instead of the emeralds. That would look stunning. You could even chrome the black bits, couldn't you? Although they do look nice because they're kind of popping. You know, I like the the looking fabulous. I've got a timer on. Oh, I've run out of time. I'll give myself a little bit more, I think. Um, 15, yeah, 10 more minutes. We've got 10 more minutes to go. We've got 10 more minutes to go. Right, I've cured that. I better stop chatting on now. We've only got 10 more minutes. I'm just here. I'm showing you guys. I'm dipping into my chrome. So this is the Glitter Planet Gold Chrome and I'm just going to rub it on here. It's such a beautiful chrome. I'm going so slow with this as well because I'm rubbing it onto like the tips held on with a little bit of blue tack. You can't really put too much pressure on whilst rubbing do you know because it's just going to flick off so i've got to rub gently hold on like this buff that into the nail like i said our silicone tools will be back in stock soon so i didn't tag them in this live i didn't tag the gold chrome either actually i'll um, i'll see if i can update that afterwards I don't think I tagged it because I don't know if I was intending on using. So that looks beautiful. It looks better without my gloves. My gloves kind of take away from the goldness. Can you see? Like when I put my gloves in because the black, they reflect the light differently. So 
That's why I like to just do that. So that's how we're looking for that. Absolutely beautiful. Now you're wondering what you're going to do now. I don't know. I'm just making it up. This wasn't part of the plan. I've had to adapt the plan. So I'm just going to come in with super gloss. I'm going to top coat the entire nail. Stunning, love it. And I'm gonna cure that in the light. I'm just gonna look at them all together first. Cause you could just do like the thumb and the, the ring finger in that gold chrome and it'd look absolutely stunning. As is. Probably mine just do that actually, it does look gorgeous. Cause you could go over the top and it would be like, not over the top, you could add some extra elements Hi, Michelle. I'm so glad you made it. So glad you made it. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. I love that. Now, I've got six minutes remaining. Not sure. You know what I was just going to do? I'm doing well, thank you very kindly. I'm going to do a gorgeous 3D flower in black acrylic, but I haven't got my black acrylic, so I'm not going to do it. But it would look stunning. Okay, so that is it, I think, for this live. I think that's where we're, I think that's where we're going to stop. This gorgeous set, I think it looks gorgeous. I don't want to do anything to the gold and ruin it. I don't think I would, but you know what it's like when you've pushed it too far. Thank you, Michelle. The green is beautiful. It's the silver chrome pigment. And then I've put the ink over the top, the green ink, and it just looks absolutely stunning. The silver chrome pigment, magnetic pigment it is. It's beautiful. So yeah, that's it guys for this live. I didn't even use the white ink. Didn't use the white. I don't want to put any over there. Shall I put some over that? Probably shouldn't. Shall we just have a play around and see how it looks on there? I've never done this actually, surprisingly. Oh, that's why. Because it's a glossy top. <laughs> I'd have to make it matte first. Although that does look abstract. Let, let's get with it. Abstract. I'm not making it matte because I like it the way it is. So I'm just going to wipe that off. We are not going down that route. Just wanted to see what it would do. Yeah, I think the solid gold looks cute as it is. I think it complements the set, brings the gold throughout. Like I say, you could miss out the gold rings or add them in. It kind of depends, whatever you fancy. But yeah, I think that looks pretty. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and joining. Um, Friday is tomorrow. Dare I say it, I might be back with another live tomorrow. So hopefully you can catch me then. I'm going to go back to my little post that I created on the community tab on YouTube and I'm going to select another suggestion from there to see what we should do for tomorrow's live and I'll plan something fun for that because that's going to be exciting so yeah we are done you guys
Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to get everything cleaned up. And I will see you in my next live. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're still here. Don't forget that part. It's super important to me anyway. And I really appreciate it. We've got five likes so far. So we can get it up a little bit more. There's ten people on here right now. Come on, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Bye. I hope everyone else has a fabulous day as well. I'll see you in my next video. And... As always, guys, just stay freaking awesome because all of you are fabulous. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.